Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. Today, we will make this absolutely gorgeous jacket. It is made with two hexagons, circle to hexagon. We will crochet easy rows to make the jacket wider and longer. And we will make easy seams on the shoulders and the back of the jacket. We will decrease our sleeves and make them longer in a way where you can see the seams. My jacket measures 23 inches across. That's a large to extra large. I'm about a medium to large. So you can see the jacket is a little bit big on me. There's plenty of space. I designed this jacket with larger sizes in mind. So if you need a large or extra large or 2XL or 3XL, this jacket is for you. I use three and a half skeins of the puzzle yarn. The color is called Cat's Cradle and a size 10 or 6 millimeter hook. We need two hexagons. Let's get started with the first one. Place the end of the yarn in your open hand and wrap around your two fingers like an X. Turn your hand over, go underneath the right loop and pull the left piece of yarn through and start round one. Make a chain of three for the double crochet and one more chain for the chain space. And repeat 11 more times, double crochet into the ring. And chain one, double crochet into the ring. And chain one. So all together with a chain of three, we will have 12 doubles with a chain one in between. We have our 12 doubles and 12 chain spaces. Finish with one chain and now you can pull your ring tight. Make a slip stitch into the third chain. And into the chain space and we can start round two. Chain three for the first double crochet and then make two more doubles into the first chain space. One and two. Move to the next chain space and make three doubles into the next chain space. One, two and three and you can repeat. Make three doubles into all of the chain spaces. At the end of round two our piece looks like this. You can fold it into that little L shape. Let's double check. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve clusters with three double crochet. Now instead of a slip stitch, we can make a single crochet into the third chain. One, two, three, make a single crochet into the third chain and we can start round three. Chain three for the first double crochet and then right next to it into that space, make three more doubles. One, two, and three. So we have a cluster of four double crochet. Then skip over the three next doubles and go to the spot where underneath you can see the double crochet from the previous round and into that space also make four doubles. One, two, three, and four. Now we can repeat the pattern Skip the next three doubles, one, two, three, and you can see that double crochet underneath in that space, make four doubles. This is how we're looking after round three. Now you can make the last cluster of four doubles where the double crochet is below. Let's skip the last three doubles and we can make a single crochet into the third chain again. And start round four. Chain three for the first double crochet and then next to it into that space, make a double chain one and make two more doubles into the same space. One and two and chain one and now we can repeat. Skip the one, two, three, four doubles and go into the next space. Make two doubles, one and two. Chain one, make two more doubles into the same chain space. One and two and chain one. Move to the next space and repeat. Make two doubles, one chain and two doubles, and chain one. Now we can repeat the sequence until we have it 12 times. We made our last cluster with two doubles, one chain and two doubles into the last space. Now let's finish the round with a half double crochet. Yarn over and count three chains. One, two, three, Make a half double crochet into the third chain, pull the yarn through and then pull through three loops and we can start round five. And it's a real easy round again. 
chain three for the double crochet and make two doubles into the chain space so everywhere where we had a chain of one we will make three doubles move to the next chain space of one that's on top of the shell stitch and make three doubles into that then move into the next space that's in between the shell stitches and make three doubles into that and then again on top of the shell stitch make three doubles into all of the spaces until we have 24 clusters with three double crochet and we can finish round five with a single crochet into the third chain again and we can start round six chain three for the first double crochet and make two more doubles into the first space so we have three doubles all together then move to the next space and make four doubles so another easy round we alternate between three doubles and four doubles so here we have four doubles and then start over go to the next space and make three doubles then move to the next space and make four doubles so at the end of this round we have 12 clusters with three doubles alternating with 12 clusters of four double crochet we can finish the round with four doubles and a single crochet into the third chain again and start round seven now we will make four double crochet into all of the spaces chain three make three more doubles into that first space so we have four doubles here then move to the next space and repeat make four doubles into that space so at the end of this round we will have 24 clusters with four double crochet we have our 24 clusters and we can finish with a single crochet again into the third chain and start round eight chain three for the first double crochet and next to it into that same space make one more double chain one and into the same space make two doubles one and two and chain one so we already know this pattern from before go to the next space and repeat make two doubles one and two chain one and make two more doubles into that same space one and two and chain one and we can repeat that pattern until we have it 24 times and we can finish round eight again with a half double crochet make a half double crochet into the third chain and we can start round nine chain three for the first double crochet and make a second double crochet into the chain space chain one then go on top of the fan stitch and make three doubles into it one two and three chain one and now we can repeat the sequence go in between the two shell stitches and make two doubles one and two chain one go on top of the shell stitch into that space make three doubles one two and three and chain one now we can repeat two doubles one chain three doubles one chain 24 times finish with three doubles on top of the shell stitch and we can make a half double crochet again into the third chain and start round 10 chain three and then make two doubles into the chain space this is another easy round we go into all of the chain spaces and make three doubles so at the end of this round we have 48 clusters with three doubles and we can finish round 10 again with a single crochet into the third chain and start round 11 where we alternate between three doubles and four doubles chain three make two more doubles into the first space and go to the next space and make four doubles and then into the next space three doubles and into the next space four doubles and so on make 24 clusters of three double crochet alternating with 24 clusters of four double crochet finish round 11 with a single crochet into the third chain and start round 12 and as you can see we will make four double crochet into each of the spaces chain three make three doubles so we have our cluster of four doubles in the first space and then go around into all 48 spaces and make four doubles into each space and we can finish the round again with a single crochet into the third chain and start round 13 chain three and double crochet into the first space chain one and double crochet two into the first space one and two notice that we don't make a chain in between clusters so you can go right into the next space and make two doubles one chain 
in two doubles. So we make two doubles, one chain and two doubles into all of our 48 spaces. Once we've done our 48 clusters, we will finish the round a little bit differently. Slip stitch into the third chain and into the double and into the chain space and we can start round 14. Chain three for the double crochet, double crochet into the chain space. Chain one and double crochet two into the same space. One and two. Now chain one. So we only work in top of our shell stitch, move to the next shell stitch and into that space, repeat the pattern, two doubles, one chain, two doubles, and one chain. Work into the chain spaces on top of the shell stitch and make two doubles, one chain, two doubles and one chain. After we made our 48 clusters, we can finish again with a half double crochet into the third chain and start round 15. Chain three and make a double crochet into the first space. Chain one and make two double crochet into the next chain space on top of the shell stitch. And chain one, repeat for all of the 96 spaces, make two doubles in each space with a chain one in between. And again, we can finish the round with a half double crochet into the third chain and start round 16. Chain one and single crochet into the first chain space, chain three and repeat, go to the next chain space, make a single crochet and chain three, go to the next chain space, make a single crochet and chain three in this way, make 96 chain spaces. Finish round 16 with a chain of three. Now, if you like, you can change color for round 17. So it's a different color than round 15, our last big circular round. As you can see, it makes the circle stand out a little better. Now let's finish round 16. We got our chain of three here and I pull a different color through the single crochet with a slip stitch and I make a slip stitch through the chain space and now we can start round 17. Now we will turn our circle into a hexagon using this pattern. We have 96 chain spaces and we will make this pattern into 16 spaces six times to form our hexagon. Now let's start with space number one, our corner. We will make three trebles, three chains and three trebles into it. Those purple little dots are all chains and they also go in between each of the clusters. Now let's make the corner into space number one. Chain four to replace the treble crochet and make two more trebles into the corner space. One and two. Chain three and make three more trebles into the first space. So we're still working our corner. One, two, and three. And after we finished filling each space, we make one chain. Let's see space two and three, two and three, get two trebles each with a chain in between. Make two trebles into space two. Chain one and make two trebles into space three. and chain one. Now let's see space four and five, get two doubles each with a chain one in between. Let's double crochet two doubles into space four with a chain and two doubles into space five. And one chain. Space six and seven, get two half doubles each with a chain one in between. Let's make two half doubles into space six chain one and two half doubles into space seven and chain one. Now let's look, we have space number eight, nine and 10 with two singles in each space and chain one in between, two singles into space eight, chain one, two singles into space nine, chain one and two singles into space 10 and chain one and now we do everything in reverse as you can see we're repeating the pattern we're getting large again in space 11 and 12 we will make two half doubles in each space with a chain one in between make two half doubles into space number 11 chain one two half doubles into space 12 chain one 
and we get bigger again two doubles into space 13 and 14 each two doubles into space 13 with a chain and two doubles into space 14 and one chain and our last two spaces 15 and 16 get two trebles each move to space number 15 and make two trebles And one chain and our last space before we repeat our pattern space number 16 also gets two trebles and one chain now we can repeat this pattern five more times let's start with space number one again and make three trebles three chains and three trebles into it i'll speed this up a little bit i'm just making my three trebles three chains and three trebles into the corner space And chain one. So we fill our first 16 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we start it again with a corner in space number one. Let's continue with space two and three. Space two and three get two trebles each with a chain one in between. Let's make two trebles into space number two. chain one and two trebles into space number three chain one let's move to space four and five and make two doubles into each with a chain one in between two doubles into space number four with a chain and two doubles into space number five and one chain space six and seven get two half double crochet with one chain in between two half doubles into space six chain one and two half doubles into space seven and chain one space eight nine and ten get two singles each with a chain one in between two singles into space number eight with a chain two singles into space nine and one chain and two singles into space ten and one chain space 11 and 12 get two half doubles into each with a chain one in between two half doubles into space 11 chain one and two half doubles into space 12 and chain one space 13 and 14 get two doubles each with a chain one in between two doubles into space 13 chain one two doubles into space 14 and chain one and our last two spaces 15 and 16 get two trebles each two trebles into space 15 chain one and the last space space 16 also gets two trebles and one chain and now we can start with the corner again our space number one and now we can make the remaining four sides the same way space number one is the corner where we make three trebles three chains and three trebles space number two and three get two trebles each space four and five get two doubles each space six and seven get two half doubles each space eight nine and ten get two singles each space eleven and twelve get two half doubles each space 13 and 14 get two doubles each and space 15 and 16 get two trebles into each space and don't forget to make the chains in between all of your clusters now let's finish the round together we made our two trebles into space number 16 chain one slip stitch into the fourth chain one two three four and slip stitch into the next treble and into the next treble and into the chain space and we can start round 18. I will leave the paper up for round 18 because round 18 and 17 are almost the same. I already made the corner the same as before with a chain of four, two trebles, a chain of three and three trebles into the chain space and no chain. Now we will repeat the stitches of the previous round. We had three trebles so now we're making three trebles into the previous ones. One, two and three. Now we chain one because we chained one in the previous round. 
So we're basically making now exactly the same stitches as before. Two trebles into the previous two trebles. And a chain of one and again two trebles into the previous ones. And a chain of one. Now we have our doubles. We make two doubles into the previous ones. Chain one and again two doubles into the previous ones. Chain one. Now the half doubles. Two half doubles into the previous half doubles. Chain one and again two half doubles into the previous ones. Chain one and here come our single crochet. Two singles into the previous two. Chain one and again two singles. Chain one and one more time two singles into the last cluster of two singles. Chain one and now we repeat our half doubles into the previous half doubles. Two half doubles. Chain one and the second time two half doubles. Chain one, then make two doubles into the previous doubles. One and two. Chain one and again one double and the second one. Chain one and we're almost done. Two trebles into the previous two trebles. Chain one and two trebles into the previous two trebles. Chain one. Then here comes our cluster of three that we made into the corner. So we will make three trebles into those. One, two, and three. And then go directly into the corner without a chain and make your corner again with three trebles, three chains, and three trebles. And then again, no chain, and you can start repeating the stitches of the previous round. Make trebles where you made trebles, doubles where you made doubles, and so on. Crochet your six sides with the same pattern as before. Remember to chain one in between each cluster. So the only difference is after we made the corner with three trebles, three chains and three trebles, we don't chain one and continue with three trebles into the previous three trebles. Now let's finish the last side together. Treble crochet into the previous two trebles, chain one. And now we can treble crochet into the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, underneath that slip stitch. So just ignore it and crochet around that slip stitch. And then we can treble crochet into that treble below underneath the slip stitch. You can ignore that again. Make a treble into the previous treble. And again, make a treble into the previous treble as if the slip stitch did not exist. Just go underneath it. And now we don't have to make a slip stitch. We'll make an invisible join. Cut your yarn and pull it out of the last treble crochet and thread a needle. Now we can skip over the chain and go into the next treble crochet front loop and back loop. Then top down into the last treble crochet that you made through the back loop and little back bump. And we can sew in the loose end towards the left. I like to go into my chain of four top down and sew in my loose end. And now we have a correct stitch count. Our first hexagon is done. Now you can make the second one the same way. At this point we have a medium sized jacket but it has a slight bow. If you don't mind that, you can stop here and make the seams, but I suggest to make a large size at a minimum and add at least one row on three sides, and that's what we'll do next. The jacket is right side out and I folded it to where my favorite parts are in the front. We will start on the top left corner of the jacket as we're wearing it, work down the front, along the bottom, and up the back, and we will go back and forth and make our jacket wider. If you want large, add one row around three sides. If you want XL, add two rows. If you want two XL, add three rows and so on. I will add two rows for XL, but depending on how you crochet, you might need to add more or less rows. 
So our jacket is right side out. Here's the front of the jacket. Let's make a slip knot. And then we can double crochet two into the corner space. One and two. And now the pattern is very easy. We make double crochet into all of our previous travels. So we have to make six doubles. And one more double crochet. Now where we made chain spaces, we will make chain spaces, chain one. And now we will work in clusters of two, make two doubles into the previous two stitches with a chain one in between. And now we can repeat until we get to the corner. Make doubles into the previous stitches with a chain one in between. There should be 16 chain spaces. So we started out with eight double crochet and then we worked in clusters of two doubles with a chain in between. So just like in the previous round, we will have 16 chain spaces. Towards the first corner, make your six doubles. Then work your corner, make two doubles, three chains and two doubles. Work the second side the same way as the first. Make your doubles into the previous trebles. Then work in clusters of two doubles with a chain one in between. We have 16 chain spaces again. When you get towards the second corner, make your six doubles into the previous six trebles and make your corner with two doubles, three chains and two doubles and work the third side the same way as the first and the second. Six doubles, then two doubles with a chain one in between. Now at the end of the row, we are on the back of our jacket and where we previously had six trebles, I also made six trebles to create some extra neck space. Finish the row with two treble crochet into the corner. One and two. Now we have eight treble crochet here and that will be the back of our jacket. Now let's start row two with a chain of four to replace the treble crochet. One, two, three, four. Turn your work over to the wrong side. Then we have to treble crochet seven more to get our eight trebles. Here's the eight trebles. And now we repeat the pattern of the first row where we have the chain spaces, make chain spaces, and where we made doubles, make doubles. So on the first side, we have our eight trebles, then a chain, then we make the clusters of two doubles with a chain in between. Then again, doubles into all the previous doubles, and for the corner, two doubles, three chains and two doubles. Work the second side doubles into all the doubles and chain spaces where we had chain spaces and make the second corner with two doubles, three chains and two doubles and work the third side. And then again, and now we're at the front of our jacket and we only make doubles. Finish the row, make doubles into all of the previous doubles, double into that first double crochet that we made now my size is extra large right here if you want to continue chain three turn your work over and repeat the rows make the doubles and the chain spaces i will stop right here when you get to the end of the row then you can decide you can make more trebles here or just doubles depending on if you need more neck space make your last stitch into the fourth chain and then you can start a new row again can either chain three or four, depending on if you want to make doubles or trebles, and repeat the stitches of the previous row. Now for the right side, we will start on the back so we can start our first row, also crocheting on the right side. We will start right here, but this is the back of the jacket. So remember on the back of the jacket, we have the treble crochet. So we're starting with a treble crochet right here. And we will still go down the back, around the bottom, and up the front, and back and forth if you need more rows. So because we're in the back of the jacket, we're starting with the trebles. Yarn over twice and make a treble crochet, and then another one into the corner space. So we have our two trebles, and it's exactly the same pattern that we have on the other side. And now you can make the six trebles and then continue with the usual pattern, two doubles with a chain one in between. I have my eight trebles, then two doubles and a chain in between. The corner with two doubles, three chains and two doubles. 
and the second corner the same way. And on the front of the jacket, we make only double crochet. Chain three, turn your work over to the wrong side and then repeat that same pattern on the wrong side if you need the second row. And we end up again with our eight trebles and repeat the same amount of rows that you did on the other hexagon. Once we've done that, we can make our seams. Now we can fold our hexagons to where the three sides we just crocheted on the back, the bottom and the front. Fold it so the right sides face each other inside and the wrong side is on top. On the other hexagon, the right sides are also inside. And the rows we crochet around three sides on the front, the bottom and the back. And the wrong side is on top. We will start in the corner of the sleeve right here and work our way towards the neckline and leave a little space for the neckline. Here's the side of the sleeve. And the right sides face each other inside. You can make a slip knot and put it on your hook. Then go into both of the chain spaces, both of the corner spaces and make two single crochet around them. One and two. Now we will go to the next stitch but only into the front loop. When you look behind it is the back loop. Go into the front loop, then go to the second piece into the next stitch, the first stitch, only into the back loop. So we slip stitching front loops and back loops together. Go to the next stitch, front loop, back loop, slip stitch, and the next stitch, front loop, back loop, slip stitch. When you get to the first chain space, single crochet around both of the chains and then slip stitch front loops and back loops together again and be careful as the stitches get smaller. It's a little bit more difficult to grab the right stitches. So now we make two slip stitches and a single crochet around both of the chains. Here's how the wrong side looks and when you turn it over you get those two nice little lines with the single crochet on the right side. When you get to the part where we slip stitch the singles together, they can be a little tricky to see the stitches. Just make sure you go into the front loop and back loop of all of the small stitches. And I like to put my finger like this so I can feel for the chain space in the front and then the chain space right here. And single crochet around those chain spaces and you can double check yourself frequently, turn your work over. To the right side and there should be two slip stitches one two and a single crochet two slip stitches and a single crochet i will make my last slip stitch into the trebles right before the corner spaces start now you certainly can make more stitches or leave more stitches empty than i did to make the next space just right for you but remember in the final round we will make double crochet in the front and single crochet around the neckline so that will add about one and a half inches of extra space. You can make the seam on the other side the same way. Turn it around, start from the corner and work your way towards the neckline and leave the same space. Now let's make the seam on the back. Make sure you're on the sides where the treble crochet are. Start again in the corners and work your way up towards the neckline. Slip stitch the front loops and back loops together and single crochet the chain spaces together. And here our trebles crochet the front loop together and the back loop of the fourth chain. That's the second treble on the back. Then you can cut your yarn, make a chain and so on you lose in. Let's look at the wrong side and the right side. Now let's add some length to our jacket. Turn it right side out again and we'll start in the bottom left corner as we're wearing our cardigan. We'll go back and forth in rows and add length. I'm on the bottom left corner of the cardigan as we're wearing it and we're basically repeating the same pattern that we did on the rows on three sides. Make two double crochet into the corner space. One and two. Double crochet into all of the previous double crochet and when you get to the chain spaces make a chain and we can continue this pattern until we get to the seam at the seam make two doubles into the first chain space one and two skip over the chain space and make two doubles into the second chain space one and two now we can continue our pattern on this side of the jacket until we get to the corner doubles into all of the previous doubles and chain spaces where we previously had chain spaces we can finish our row with two double crochet into the corner space, one 
in two and start row two with a chain of three. One, two, three. Turn your work over and repeat the pattern. Doubles into all of the doubles and chain spaces where we had chain spaces. We can double crochet right across where the seam is and continue the pattern and finish the row again with a double crochet into the last double and start a new row with a chain of three. Turn your work and repeat the pattern and now you can go back and forth and add as many rows as you like. This will be my last row and it keeps my jacket shorter. If you want to continue, you can make the double crochet into the third chain, chain three, turn your work and continue with the next row. I will cut my yarn here and I have three rows. Now we will add length to our sleeve and decrease it and make an invisible join with a standalone double crochet. Can you tell where it is? It's right here. Here's our sleeve. Here's the seam that we did for the shoulder. And you can start really anywhere. I just go on the opposite side, somewhere under the arm. And we can do the same pattern that we already know. We make double crochet into all of the previous stitches. So we work in clusters of two doubles and chain one and then go to the next cluster of two stitches, make two doubles into those and chain one and continue until you get to the treble crochet. When we get to the shoulder seam, we can make six doubles into the previous trebles, then one double into the first chain space and one double into the second chain space and six doubles into the previous trebles over there. Then continue the pattern, make two doubles with a chain in between and we can finish this round and a slip stitch into the first double crochet and start round two with a standalone double. Pull your loop as long as a double crochet, then give it a counterclockwise twist. Go back into that first double crochet and pull a loop, then pull through the loop and behind that loop that you have on the hook from the back to the front. So you're twisting it the other way, pull through two loops. And now we can continue our usual pattern, double crochet two with a chain in between until you get to the shoulder. When we get to the shoulder, to that big cluster of doubles, we will double crochet the first two together and the last two until we have only two doubles left. So I made my chain and now yarn over, go into the first double and into the second double and pull a loop, pull through three loops and then through two Then make doubles until you get to the last two doubles of this cluster. And we can double crochet the last two together, yarn over, pull a loop through the second to last double and the last double, pull through three loops and through two, chain one and continue the pattern with two doubles and a chain one in between. And here's how our first decrease looks. We can finish round two with a chain and a slip stitch in our standalone double. Here's the yarn over, above it is the front loop. Go into the front loop and the back loop. You have to turn your work quite a bit to see that back loop. Now we can make a slip stitch and start round three with a standalone double again. Pull long, rotate counterclockwise, pull the loop through the first double, pull through the loop and behind the loop on your hook. So rotate clockwise and pull through two loops and now continue your usual pattern. Make two doubles in the chain until you get to the shoulder part where we decrease again. When we get to the cluster at the shoulder, double crochet the first double together. That's the one we previously double crocheted together with the second double. And continue to make doubles and we will crochet the last two doubles together. So when you get to the end of this cluster, double crochet the last two together. The second to last double with the last double and that's the one we double crocheted previously together. Now our two decreases are done and we can continue with our usual pattern, two doubles and a chain in between. Continue and double crochet the last and the first two together in each round to decrease the cluster. In round seven, we have four doubles. So we double crochet the first two together and the last two. Now it is up to you how much further you want to decrease, but write it down so your other side looks the same. For example, in round eight, I decreased the two doubles to the right and to the left to one double. And then in the middle, I double crochet those two last doubles together. So I have one double, one double, one double with a chain of one in between. In round nine, I decreased the doubles again to the right and to the left, here and here. So now I have five doubles. In round 10, I again decreased the two doubles to the right and to the left. So now I have seven doubles. 
I didn't decrease any further in round 11. I'm happy with the width of my sleeve, so I just made my seven doubles again. Now you can make your sleeve as long as you like. If you need more decreases, you can make more decreases. But for the final round, I make double crochet into all of my doubles and into all of the chain spaces. So the part with one double, I make one double into that and one double into each chain space. And we can finish this round with an invisible join again. Pull the yarn out of the last double, then go through the second double, and then tap down into the last double through the back loop and the back bump. And you can sew on your loose end, tap down into the first double. Let's make a final round for the jacket. Here's the seam of the back and this is the bottom of the jacket. It's right side up. You really can start anywhere that you like. I started over here and repeat the pattern of the previous round. Two doubles with a chain in between and here we have the solid doubles and over there also two doubles with a chain in between. When you get to the corner, leave the last double empty. And that will be our new corner. Double crochet five around the entire post of that last double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And that's our corner. Now let's crochet the front of our jacket. Crochet around each of the posts on the side and make two doubles around the post. One and two, and I only have to do that twice. You may have to make it more if you have more rows. So two doubles around each of the posts and then when you get to the corner space, make two doubles into the corner. One and two. And then we can crochet the front of the jacket the same way as the bottom. We make doubles into all of the doubles and chain spaces where we had chain spaces. Here's how it looks so far. When we get to the neckline, we can leave that last double crochet empty again. That will be our corner. Make two doubles around the entire post. One and two. And then make three singles around that post. So we make single crochet on the neckline. One, two, three singles. Then single crochet three around each post. I only have one, so I only have to do it one time. One and two singles. Here's our chain space. Our corner space, we make two singles around that. One and two. If you have stitches to the right and the left of the seam, make single crochet into those stitches. I can skip to the seam. I grab underneath two pieces of yarn and make a single crochet into the seam. Now the same on the other side. If you have stitches on the other side of the seam, single crochet into those. I can skip directly into my chain space or my corner space and make two singles into that. Now we're at the back where we had the trebles. You may have more trebles than I do, two or less. I make three single crochet around each of the treble crochet. One, two, three, and another one. One, two, three, three singles around each post until I get to the seam in the back and I make a single crochet into the seam in the back. And now I repeat the same stitches on the other side. We had three single crochet around each post of the treble, so I have to do that twice. One, two, three singles and again the next treble crochet one two three singles and then I have my corner here I make two singles into the corner space one and two then I don't have any stitches on the seam so I can Go directly into the seam and make a single crochet and two stitches into the corner. So you have to just basically do what you did on the other side. Then I crochet two singles around each of the posts. I only have one post, so I make two singles around that. And here's the corner again, the last post. Make three singles and two doubles around that post. So the three singles count towards the neckline and the two doubles count towards the front of the jacket. Here's the front of the jacket and we can make the same stitches as on the other side. Before we continue, let's take a look at the neckline. 
crochet along the front of the jacket, make two doubles into the corner space, two doubles around each of the posts, and five doubles into the last double that's our corner. Then crochet the bottom of the jacket, you can finish like we did on the sleeve with an invisible join. Our jacket is now finished. I hope you liked making it as much as I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!